Happy Tuesday to you, Emily Bloom in for Chris Crocker. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, we see what we've been working with throughout the day. Today we've seen it all, thunder, lightning, heavy rain, um, and we've got just a little bit more to work through in the evening hours tonight. Now when we put our 24 hour forecast in motion, you can see most of that has moved out, but it wouldn't be out of the question to see some isolated areas of redevelopment right around that 8 o'clock hour here in Spokane or in the surrounding areas. Uh, by about midnight, 1 a.m. though, all that we're left with is some scattered showers across the region. And by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning, most of this out of the way, just some lingering cloud cover throughout the day. That is until about 5, 6, 7 p.m. tomorrow evening when most of that smoke should move out as well. Now the cooler temperatures, they are going to stick around despite the departure of those storms. Uh, we've seen the heaviest rainfall exactly where we expected to see it up towards northeast Washington in the northern part of the Idaho Panhandle. That flash flood watch set to expire at 9 o'clock this evening. Um, as we take a look at our winds, you can see that shift. We've noticed a big dramatic change in our smoke as well. Uh, the winds basically coming in from the north, but once they get down towards the Tri-Cities area coming out of the west, that is because of that cold front that has been pulling through, um, or rather dipped down from Canada. Um, all of that is contributing to the big shift in uh, the air quality that we have seen over the past couple of hours. At one point today, we are in the moderate category, quickly jumped up to about 155 into the unhealthy category within a matter of just an hour or two. So big shift for there, big shift there, and I'm sure that if you were outside, you noticed that. Smoke and winds is reflecting where all the wildfires are throughout our region and where the heaviest smoke is set up. You can see that band right there, uh, just south east of Wenatchee, uh, north of Moses Lake, down towards Yakima, and then up here into Deer Park in Spokane as well. Um, so these, this haze is going to stick around with us. And you've heard it all before, you know what to do. Keep the windows and doors closed. Use the recirculate option when you're in the car. The other thing that you want to think about as well, though, is focusing on uh, keeping the air inside clean as well. Things, things that you can do to reduce poor air quality inside your home is going to be not burning candles, not running the vacuum, not frying food. Um, so just some other things to keep in mind as well. 24 hour change, take a look at this temperature swing. A uh, difference of 24 degrees from this point yesterday. Uh, I said it before, the good news here is that these cooler temperatures are going to stick around with us for at least the next couple of days. So the four things that you need to know, we've got those uh, storms lingering for the next couple of hours. The cooler temperatures continues, the haze continues, and we've got another chance of rain this weekend.